Hi friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today, as promised, is my entire Arrow video collection. And as you'll see, it's not the biggest collection I have. Uh, I wasn't a big, big Arrow collector, but recently, over the last year or so, they have really ramped up their game and their releases are fantastic. So I've gotten more and more into collecting Arrow. As you can see here, we have the, the brand new Psycho set, which is absolutely stunning. The Hellraiser Quartet of Torment which is a fantastic set. Uh, and then we have the Juan set, which is better known here in America as The Grudge. And I'm just going to get into the first uh, first row here. And if you see doubles like this, it means they sent me maybe a Blu-ray for review and then the 4K came out a few months later. And they do not include the Blu-ray discs in their 4K set. So that's why there are some doubles, like The American Werewolf in London. And American Werewolf in London in 4K. And then we have a black cat, uh, Edgar Allan Poe's Black Cats, as done by Sergio Martino and Lucio Fulci. And these are the films included in that set. So it's a really nice box set. I've had that for quite some time. This is a newer one, Mario Bava's Blood and Black Lace in 4K. It is a stunning release. And if you are a fan of uh, Giallo films, definitely pick this one up. Don't sleep on this one. It looks fantastic. Stellar release. Battle Royale. Creep Show 2, which I snuck a uh, Region A disc in there. I'm not sure if it originally came with one. I've had that for a little bit. The 4K release of Candyman. Another newer release, uh, Al Pacino in Carlito's Way. This looks fantastic. It's a great release. Uh, I was very, very happy with the transfer, the picture, everything, um, and the special features. And this is the Crimson Peak set that I was telling you about. I said I had a nicer set. It's kind of like a box style. If I had two hands, I would open it for you, but it has all kinds of goodies inside, but it's a really nice release. This is the uh, original Dune. I've seen the movie. I just haven't uh, checked out this uh, Arrow release. Django. This is a fantastic release. It is a stunning, stunning transfer. It's a great spaghetti western. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Donnie Darko, which I, uh, I've i warmed up to over the years. It was a little tough for me when I was younger trying to figure it all out, but uh, I, I do like this. It's just sometimes I find it a little a little hard to follow, but I'm getting there. And then we're into the Dario Argento section, which I keep in the Ds and I keep them all together. So don't don't lose it on me, my OCD friends. I get it. Cat and Nine Tails. And then I believe this is the 4K of Cat and Nine Tails. So we'll move on to the next. Okay, and staying with Dario Argento, we have one of his best, Deep Red. I think it's one of his best films. I know everybody goes to Suspiria, but I really love Deep Red too. Also, Bird with the Crystal Plumage. And now these two, uh, this one, Phenomena, is not an Arrow release, but I keep all my Argento box sets together. These are both Synapse uh, Tenebrae as well. Another, these uh, Phenomena and, and Tenebrae are also fantastic movies. And also, this is not Arrow, but Argento, Opera. We need one for Suspiria. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, Graveyards of Honor. And now I know they have these Giallo sets, but this was the only set that had movies in it that I did not already own. These are the movies in this one. I can't really read it very well because my eyesight is shot, but that's that. And then I have a house set. It has all four house films in it. It's I got it from Amazon UK. I've had it for years, but it is region free. It says B, but it plays on everything. And then this is an older box that I had a Hellraiser with one, two, and three, but I will probably get rid of this at some point because I no longer need it. The Hills Have Eyes. This is a 4K one. And The Last Emperor, which is an amazing, amazing epic. So if you haven't checked that one out, there's also a Criterion version. Okay, we have about a shelf and a half, and then we can move on to the individual collection, uh, individual titles. This is the Lucas Moodyson set. Uh, I have seen a bunch of his films, and I really like them. This is a great, great set. It's beautifully packaged, uh, but I need to dip into the whole uh, the whole set. Tom Cruise in Legend. Lighthouse, which looks absolutely stunning in 4K. This is an amazing release. Sergio Martino collection. Here's the films you get in that one. 
the Ringu set, which is great. And then we have our doubles here, Robocop in Blu-ray, Robocop in 4K, which both look great. And then we have double dips here, uh, True Romance, which I just love that artwork. And it came with the standard case. So, you know, I had to go and get True Romance with the alternate artwork because it had a steelbook in it. And I need to stop doing that. And then we have one of the most beautiful transfers in a very long time, uh, Tremors. This looks absolutely fantastic. We have Tremors 2 coming, I believe, uh, the end of the month. I, th I think it's the end of November. But uh, Tremors looks amazing. And it's a lot of fun. If you like creature features, it's a good one. And then I have this set here, the Solid Metal Nightmares. Uh, it was a funny thing. I had this set. Someone noticed it. They asked if I would be willing to sell it. And I figured I wasn't going to watch it. I sold it. And then guess what? I bought it again. Here we go. So I'm just going to bang out the last few on that bottom row. And then we'll move on to the individual releases. Okay. Let's see how long I can survive on the floor. We have Kevin Cosner in Waterworld. The nice new 4K release of The Wolf of Wall Street. Wild Things, same thing as True Romance. It came with the standard case. And then I am such a fan of this movie. Love it or hate it, I love it. Uh, so I got this, the alternate artwork with the steelbook, which again, we have to stop doing that. A newer release that I just grabbed, Witness with Harrison Ford. This is a great movie. Um, the 4K looks fantastic. If you're a fan of Witness or Harrison Ford, definitely look into this one. It's a good one. I have a Vincent Price collection. It's called Six Gothic Tales. However, I might be selling this because it's redundant for other ones that I have, uh, Vincent Price collections, and uh, I might just let this one go. We'll see. And then this one I recently picked up. Uh, my friend Cinema Dave told me it was on sale at uh, during a a sale at Barnes and Noble. They were selling the Arrow titles. So I grabbed the Cold War Creatures, four films from Sam Katzman. So we're going to check that one out. And on we go to the individual releases. Okay, so here we are at the single releases and probably the weirdest section of the room, but this is being rehomed to a new area I'm putting together on the other side, which you'll see in the room tour. So we'll see how long I can survive being on the floor. Uh, 12 Monkeys, which is a great one. The Apartment, a box set that I forgot to put over with the hard boxes on the other side. Alice, Sweet Alice, which I showed you in my complete collection tour, but I wanted to move it over here in case anyone didn't see that. The Andromeda Strain, which I have seen. I just didn't watch this version. Uh, Black Venus and Black Mama, White Mama with the wonderful Pam Greer, who's amazing and everything. Brain Damage, that's a fun one. A Bay of Blood. Blood Rage, Bloody Birthday, which is fun for anyone's birthday party, The Bloodstained Butterfly, The Bloodthirsty Trilogy, Basket Case, an absolute classic, one that everyone was asking for in the other part of the collection tour, Children of the Corn, here it is in all its glory, Cinema Paradiso, a wonderful film. Uh, I have the 4K, but it's upstairs. I was re-watching it. George A. Romero's original version of The Crazies, one of Al Pacino's best, Cruising, Clash, Cold Light of Day. I haven't gotten around to watching this yet, but I heard it's pretty good. Uh, Crawl, this one came in for review, and I don't, I don't think I watched it yet. Uh, don't Torture a Duckling, this is a really interesting film, interesting in a good way. If you get a chance to watch it, uh, read about it and, and see what you think. It's a good one, though. Death Screams, haven't watched it, but haven't heard the best things about it. The Deeper You Dig, I actually really like this. It's a super indie film. It's made by a family of four. Their name is The Adams Family. And what made me really, really appreciate this was watching the special features and the interviews with the family. Everything they do, they do everything themselves. They shoot it in their own homes, properties they own. It's pretty amazing what they pulled off with this one. And it's not a bad film either. It's really pretty good. And then we have Dillinger. And now we're moving on to the next shelf. On and on we go. Dave Made a Maze. Day of Anger, very good one. The Endless, that's a very cool film. The El Duce Tapes, haven't seen that one yet. 
Edge of the Axe. I really enjoyed this one. I know some people didn't like it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, Family Values. This is a film collection from the no longer Arrow Academy by uh, Hirokazu Kurieda. I wish, like Father, like Son, and After the Storm. You might still be able to find that, though. Flatliners, which is always a great one. Flowers in the Attic. This is a fantastic film. If you haven't seen it, definitely do your homework and check that one out. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Gas Food and Lodging, which my friend uh, Cinema Dave tells me is fantastic. Hugo. This is, in my opinion, one of Scorsese's best films. Do not be dissuaded by the uh, original artwork, which made it look like it was a kid's film. It is a love letter to classic films. They talk about silent films, George Millais, all the good stuff. It is so, so good. It is such a great film. Don't sleep on it. And the 4K is fantastic. Horror Express. That's a fun one. I See You. I, I don't know if I've watched that one yet, but this one I've watched. Incident in a Ghostland. It's fantastic. Images. JSA. I've talked about this one. You know we love it. Um, it's, a, it's about a situation that takes place in a neutral area between North and South Korea where they have two little huts where guards sit and it's a no-fire zone, but one night shots are fired, people are killed, and an investigation is started, and through flashbacks, we find out what happened to lead to shots being fired. It is so good. Uh, Kalabos. This was a fun one. It's an indie film. Uh, it's pretty good, though. I liked it. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Absolute blast. It's a classic. Uh, the Last Starfighter. Getting a little... The slip covers are sticking together. Christopher Walken in The King of New York. 4K looks great. Killer Nun. I love my nun films. The Long Good Friday, the film that made me go region free. I had to see this film and I was not disappointed. It is a fantastic UK gangster film. Don't sleep on it. Lords of Chaos. This is a great film too. It also comes in a standard Blu-ray edition that you can get right on Amazon. It's uh, about like these uh, black metal bands and some things that happen and R Rory Culkin is fantastic in that and try saying his name five times fast and we have kevin smith's mall rats and then of course they gave it the 4k treatment so we are going to do the last shelf and wrap this one up okay friends we're on the last shelf and then we're going to call this one a day the first one is man of a thousand faces uh james cagney plays lon cheney it's a biopic about lon cheney and it is fantastic so much better than i expected it to be old boy we already know we love that one. One Miss Call Trilogy, that's a good one. Uh, Possessed, another good one. Uh, Vin Diesel and Pitch Black, it's pretty good. I don't mind that one. Uh, Pistol for Ringo and Return of Ringo, both really good. Psychomania, haven't watched that one yet. The Righteous, that was pretty good. I th Yeah, I watched that one, that was pretty good. Of course, I have Reanimator and Bride of Reanimator. Robert De Niro in Ronin. That's a fantastic film. Of course, you knew I had to have the stuff. How could I not have the stuff? As well as Society. Two good films. Two fun ones. Spider Baby. Sleep, which I have recently picked up but didn't watch yet. Uh, Mario Baba's Shock. I've seen it. I just haven't seen that version. Uh, Season of the Witch. This is a good one. It's John C. Riley and Joaquin Phoenix in The Sisters Brothers. Really cool Western. They're bounty hunters. Really good stuff. I very much enjoyed this one. And it looks great. The transfer looks fantastic. And you know I have to have 16 Candles. Sam Neill, Sleeping Dogs. Getting a little weird in this corner here. Sorry. Strip Nude for Your Killer. It's an okay giallo. It's not horrible. I just, I wouldn't pay for it. I wouldn't go out and buy it. But if you can stream it for free, it's not a bad watch. The Sister Street Fighter Collection. Haven't opened it. Haven't watched it yet. Now, this one is called The Stylist. This is a first effort from a gal uh, who goes by the name of Jill6, S-I-X-X, -X, on Instagram. Give her a follow. She's working on her second film. This one was so much better than I thought it was going to be. It's about a gal who's a, a hairstylist, and she's very lonely, and she's very, very unstable. And she drugs the people that come to get haircuts from her, and she does horrible, horrible things to them. But it's a good movie. It was really much better than I expected. Uh, Torso, haven't watched that one yet. And this one I have seen, I've talked about it. 
A Tale of Two Sisters. It's just a really uh, bad lighting here. I apologize for that. And I just have three more to show you that didn't fit on this shelf. Uh, toys are not for children. Of course, I have Weird Science. How could I not have Weird Science? And this last one I've shown you before, that is Zombie for Sale. We know him and we love him and he is the life of the party. So that is my Arrow collection. That's the collection that I'm keeping for now. I, like I said, I'm in the process of moving everything to the other side of the room to bigger, better shelving. So when I do my room tour, you'll see all that and you'll see the finished complete collection there. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. You know I appreciate it. And uh, my next video is going to be up on Monday. It's going to be the, the part two of my film noir recommendation. So if you want to check that out, that'll post on Monday. Otherwise, tomorrow, if you want to come over and say hi, I'll be live at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with my good friend Cinema Dave on Cinema Dave Media YouTube channel. We're there usually every Saturday. This week, it's Sunday. We're there every week, and we talk about what we ate, what we did, what we watched all week. We have fun. We laugh. Uh, we have a great group of people, so come on over and join the party. If not, you can always catch us on the replay. And uh, if I don't see you there, I'll see you next video. So, again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a great night, and for now... That's a wrap.